think my favorite uh, update to the world is uh, the new Chaos objects, which are physics based and they have this uh, hinges and stuff so you can break them apart bit by bit instead of having the same kind of explosion all the time you can will have a different reaction every time you destroy a chaos object in this, in this version of the course and it adds a lot to the game I'd say it's, it's, it's uh, I want to answer your, it felt, felt like two questions. So the world being more dense, um, yes, it's definitely more dense. Uh, we've also added like, activities or uh, small encounters, we call them. It's small missions that seeks the player out instead of uh, maybe having to uh, transport yourself between A to B and that uh, could become a, like a, a down period in the game. We now figure out when uh, the player hasn't been involved in anything spectacular in a while, and we spawn uh, an encounter that seeks the player out, basically. So, so that's that's one of the uh, I think great improvements to uh, to this game. And about my favorite part of the game, I think my, what I enjoy the most is just like the traversal. I, I love the combination of the grappling hook, the wingsuit, and the parachute, and how that allows you to traverse the world very fluidly and, and seamlessly. And that's for me. It's it's uh, it's kind of therapeutic. Therapeutic, I think, almost it can be at least. Okay. <laughs> That's a difficult question. I mean, we uh, we focus on what we think we can, uh, where we can do the best job, and I think that is to deliver uh, the most explosive, most intense uh, open world player experience that that uh, that we can. I mean, we we give the tools, the, the toys for the player to experience with. And we fo we focus on getting the the player mechanics and the story, the the traversal of the world, and the progression in the world, to be as good as it possibly can. And then, I mean, we had some help from the modding community before. We'll we'll just see what happens. We're not we're using our own game engine. I develop the technology ourselves, and it's. Uh, at this point, it's not, some, it's not something that we uh, that we license to external parties, and um, I can't really uh, to answer your question. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, our, the tools we use and develop ourselves to build the game uh, isn't available to, to just download somewhere right now. Okay, uh, most of the game was uh, developed in New York. Uh, we have a core team there, and then we had a smaller team supporting in Stockholm, um, where we there's a lot of vehicle work, very artwise, and the vegetation, some military bases in Stockholm from the art side. Um, uh, most of the team were in uh, Okay, we're using. Um, like the regular ones like Photoshop, ZBrush, um, our own uh, editor for landscape, for creating the landscape that was um, making our own editor, and, and Maya, of course, for modeling. Uh, those are the main tools. Uh, we have done a lot of improvements from the like, previous version of our game. We have implemented um, a PBR, a lighting system, a physical based rendering pipeline that's new. Uh, that helps us create uh, more realistic materials and so on. That's a great improvement. A lot of lighting and atmospherics uh, updates. Uh, Stuff that you want to get in and might not make it, might not make it. So it's uh, it's always new technologies coming in, but sometimes it's too late to implement. So oh, next time, uh, I can't say anything specific. We've tried to 
give uh, the characters uh, a, a big lift in Just Cause 3 compared to uh, Just Cause 2. I mean, we've, we've used a bunch of new uh, techniques with for specifically for scripting AI, we use behavior trees now. We didn't do that in uh, Just Cause 2. Uh, it's, it's a way to, uh, a paradigm to script AI, basically. Uh, for those interested, you can Google behavior trees. <laughs> Uh, we've also focused a lot on character realization and trying to give the characters uh, more believable uh, animations. We have we have used mocap for Just Cause 3. We didn't do that for for the previous games. Uh, we've also had a, a bigger team of animation programmers, scripters, and animators on Just Cause 3. So we, we've We've put in a lot of work to try and get the characters to look more, look and act more believable, for sure. I think it worked, it's worked out very well. I mean, it's it's um, our vehicle designer used to work for uh, Criterion, and uh, he's an awesome guy. He designed uh, uh, the the new, uh, basically, uh, handling model for all the vehicles, and we've tried we we've tried hard to to give them. Uh, more flavor and more weight and, and, and uh, uh, better drivability, for instance. Or with, there will be DLC, but I can't tell you, or we can't tell you anymore Why about not? that. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome to yeah. launch tomorrow. So. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. Can't wait to see all the YouTube videos. For sure. For People sure. doing crazy stuff.